All right, moving forward, we're almost there. We're in the home stretch, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Next, we're moving up to the quarter nail sink counter. Um, that's what you do is it's expired as I go. So let's do that. So you use a quarter nail a lot. And remember, every nail sink, why does the person turn over? I mean, it's usually a shoulder lock involved in some way, or it's a tilt or a bridge. But this one is 100% based on what? Elbow to elbow and twisting me over. He has to run it elbow to elbow and twist me over. So my job is to get my elbow out of the picture, rotate into him, let him run it all day long. He's not going to be able to finish it. And I sit in, he's going to flip over, and we'll finish with a submission of our own. Okay, so bang here. I'm, gonna open, I'm opening things up so you guys can see. I would never do this open like this. But he puts pressure on my head first. Bam. He comes through gap three. Comes back through gap one. He has a quarter Nelson. Okay. We say, okay, well, that's he's controlling two gaps. No, he's not. He's only really controlling one gap right now. He has one hand controlling one gap. If he put his put the half on real quick. Now he's controlling two gaps with one arm. So it'll be a half Nelson. This will help you guys out a little bit. Now put the three-quarter, please. Right arm through. Now he has one, two, three. So hopefully that'll help you guys out a little bit. I'm doing this on purpose because why? A lot of people ask you questions about Nelson's, like why is this quarter? Why is that a half? It's there's four gaps. How many are they controlling with one arm? That's how you figure it out. How many gaps is that arm that's going inside covering? Is it covering one or two? So this one's only covering one gap that's coming through, really. Okay, so back to the quarter, please. So it's one out of four. This is not a gap. So he's got the pressure on my head. Now look, my elbow immediately. If I stay down here, he's gonna run elbow to elbow, and he's gonna be right on my back. He's going to look away like he's supposed to because you never look into your quarter now. So he jumps off his knees, he runs it. If I take my elbow up immediately and get it out of the picture, though, I'm in a position to win. So what I do is I take this arm, I jam it as high as I can, and I trap it to my body, my fist to my body. My elbow cannot be attacked now. So when he starts going, go for it. Look, I turn, and look where we're at. He's stuck. So I sit through. He's going back over the other way. My elbow was never part of the equation. And I'm right on what? His shoulder. Take the arm off, thumb up, I'm off my butt, my fulcrum is right here, pinch it up, there's the strangle, and drive down with the lever. Once to make it even better, hold here, rotate your body over, make it a little worse, you okay? Yeah. Again, please. Sorry, I sat there for so long to throw you. Yeah. We'll go a little faster on the throw now, so you guys can see where I'm moving. Um, I turn, you'll see me step up, and then kind of throw myself back through. And so it's a quick step and then go back down to when you're ready to go. The thing is, once he gets there, there's really no way to turn me because there's no elbow. There's no manipulation. You turn because it hurts. It's a shoulder lock. Without the elbow, there's no shoulder lock. There's no reason for me to go my back. So I'm again, I'm down. He comes through. He's on the head like he's supposed to be, full thumb. He's really only controlling one gap because this is not a gap. Okay? When I come back immediately, as soon as I feel this, if I've, if I've gotten here, the elbow does what? all the way up into his armpit. He can't get his elbow that high. I come across here to my chest, I'm locked. He goes, I turn, I'm locked even tighter. Now watch my body. I'm gonna throw this leg through, here, over. I keep looking through, keep looking through. My weight, I'm off, I'm off my butt, but my legs are still on the ground. So we're gonna get off completely, so my toes and elbow are hanging out. This fist needs to be tight. This is what, your fulcrum. This is my lever, get it straight, and drive a little bit away, over. And that's all you should need for the arm bar now.